hi guys welcome back to my channel and as promised i'll be redoing this painting because um i had a hard time filming it i was caught at 22 minutes so since i promised to do it i will do it <laughs> uh, i really wanted to create another painting but uh, i want to teach you how i did this um, landscape painting and you know, I didn't want to just say no to this and move on to another painting without without being true to my promise. So yeah, um, we'll be painting a landscape. And for me, I'll be redoing this for, tut uh, for tutorial purposes. And I hope you enjoy this one. And I hope my video doesn't get cut. Um, I actually deleted a lot of um, photos and videos um, so that... I freed up a lot of space <laughs> from my camera and yeah let's begin now let me introduce first or let me tell you first the colors that we'll be using for today's painting we have of course titanium white burnt uh, raw umber uh, aqua green sap green permanent yellow green light oh, sorry permanent green light lemon yellow black ultramarine and yeah that's basically it so let's proceed immediately okay i'm gonna wet my brush okay i'm sorry for the weird angle of my camera because my tripod that i really use for filming is in my shipment and my shipment will arrive i don't know maybe a couple of a couple of weeks from now all right so yeah let's begin now I'm gonna first do the water the water part if you saw my Facebook then you'll see me holding the painting for this tutorial so you can take a look at it have it saved on your phone and then you know proceed with the painting so I'm gonna first underpaint the water I'm gonna use my sap green and then black and then ultramarine and then water again sap green here again we're just under painting you don't have to worry too much about this one so more black more black and then sap green All right okay i'm gonna add more blues to the mixture and then sap green here And then I'm gonna add some lemon yellow. I'm not washing my brush, okay? Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna get my aqua green Okay, I'm gonna get my aqua green and watering it down. And then I'm gonna apply it here. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and then apply it here while the paint's still wet. Okay. All right, 
I'm going to get my yellow. green and black so green and then black and then ultramarine just combining everything okay and then black you know guys I have to work fast because my paints dry pretty quick like that and again this is the underpainting all right like that okay just the underpainting it's not yet the final color okay i'm gonna get my green And then um, some aqua green. Make sure to blend. Okay. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. And then make some um, depth here. We're going to do the rocks. Like that. Okay, and again, black to some areas here. Again, this is the underpainting, guys. Okay, here as well. The underpainting, actually I'm gonna use some burnt umber or raw umber just to make some depth here. You can use black. Okay, here as well. Okay, more. All right. This is just to give us some depth and shadows later it really looks weird you know I always start my painting weirdly <laughs> but that's how it goes okay so burnt umber and black I'm just combining just make this portion a little dark okay like that I'm gonna make some gray so I'm not washing my brush I'm just mixing some white to the burnt umber mixture as long as I create some grays and then I'm gonna color this like triangular part this is where the waterfall will be painted on so just underpaint it with gray okay and then I'm gonna get my burnt umber again oh 
I'm sorry, we're gonna use some burnt sienna. So we're gonna use some burnt sienna as well. And I'm gonna water down my burnt sienna here. Oh, that's too much. Right. So here, I'm just gonna apply it like that. It's so weird, right? Like, these are just blocks of colors. Does it make sense? But it will later. Okay. Now I'm going to get my black again. And we will, do, we will do the rocks. But we have to make it like an even. So I'm just making like this um, strokes very like wild and wild and free and this is what i like about painting the nature you can never go wrong so i'm gonna go here in the middle part just to create some random lines and this is to give us the illusion of unevenness of the rocks. So, yeah. Like that. Here as well. And then make some depths here. Okay, here as well. Just randomly um, apply the dark shades because we're gonna paint over it later. We're gonna do the foliage. Okay, I'm gonna get my gray mixture still and apply it here. Like that. And, you know, imagine uh, the rocks that you see when you visit a tourist place, those naturally formed rocks. So we're going to create that texture by using browns and whites and some blues as well. I'm going to get my burnt sienna, water down like that. And I'm gonna get my burnt umber or raw umber, sorry. So just apply it randomly. You can use your fingers to blend. The more random you are in application, the more natural it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to get my black again. And, yeah, apply it like that. I'm not really scared anymore in um, being random <laughs> with my paintings because um, nature is like that. Okay, I'm just going to define the, the dividing line between the water and um, the, the land or the rocks. So like that. And I'm going to darken this portion as well. Like that. It's still recording. All right, so I'm going to get my gray, still gray here. Okay. Like that. All 
Okay, I'm gonna get more black because this needs more depth because the light is coming from the left side. All right, like that. So we've already blocked the colors um, where things are gonna go. Now we will go to dry brushing. So I'm gonna get another brush, it's quite dry. And I'm gonna get my green, so sap green. Sap green and permanent uh, light green. And I'm gonna add burnt sienna to it just to mute the color. And I'm gonna start dabbing in some foliage. Okay, you can add a little bit of yellow just to make it more visible. Yeah, like that. So, like that. Okay, just use the tip of your brush and I did not even wet this brush so that it can create um, the texture that I really like for the foliage. Okay. So again, just use your greens. Um, to be honest, I think I'm gonna use some of my phthalo green as well. I kinda like the blue blue tinge found in phthalo okay so i'm just gonna yeah like that so it added more you know variety in the color of the foliage yeah i like it like that here as well I'm going to add some raw umber and then green mixed with raw umber just to give more depth. Okay, like that. I'm going to get my light green this time. So I'm just dabbing in all the greens that I have randomly. But we will follow the rule of light. The light is coming from the left, so the left side will be a lot brighter than the right side. Okay, like that. Okay, you can get now your white, just mix it. Um, with whatever color is left on your paintbrush and then add some tiny bit of yellow and then start highlighting it. So again, I'm just using the tip of my brush and lightly dabbing in some highlights to suggest um, existence of light okay like that and again let me check if I'm still recording okay it was so frustrating to be honest that after I went I really thought I was recording everything but then I did not know that I wasn't recording anymore at 22 minutes so it was so frustrating but it's okay. Things like that have really happened, you know? Okay, like that. I'm going to get my yellow and green. And I'm going to start, yeah, like that. Randomly, but not too much. Not too much. Okay, also here, 
here. The advantage of not washing your brush when you, when you do foliage is that the other colors still become visible. Okay. Like that. Then I'm gonna add some greens here because there are some plants in the rocks, in the rocky part of this uh, landscape. Here as well. Okay, for this part, I'm gonna use my sap green mixed with black and start dabbing. So I'm gonna dab in here. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and green mixture and start dabbing in here this is where the bright part um, of this landscape is the left side so I'm just gonna dab Okay, I'm gonna get my sap green mixed with burnt umber. Okay, I'm gonna get more black. It's drying pretty quick. Okay. We're we still recording? <laughs> okay, like that. So I'm gonna get more black. Actually, I'm just using dark green. Okay. Okay, like that. Okay. I'm gonna use another brush. Okay, we're going to use some um, ultramarine mixed with white or gray. So like this color. And I'm gonna uh, glaze the gray portion, the middle portion. Just glaze it with ultramarine. 
Okay. Okay, the green is mixing, but it's all right. All right, like that. more black. Mm. Okay. Okay. So just I'm going to darken some areas. Like that. Okay, here we're gonna go back. And darken this, um, darken this side. As well. Okay, I'm gonna use my, my black and um, ultramarine and sap green. And let's go back to this side. Let's create some shadow. Or reflection. Okay, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go get my white recording right get my white and yellow and green like this color but more white and then I'm gonna dab in here okay this is dry brushing and this is just dry brushing so you don't have to wet your brush, you just have to use the end of the brush or the tip of the brush just to um, create some highlighted portion from the left side. I'm gonna use the same mixture here, but it's not as bright as 
uh, the ones from the left side this is just to suggest that some light strike um, the right side all right okay I'm gonna use this mixture to brighten the waters okay. just use uh, your hand in blending Okay, I'm going to get um, another brush. And then get some white. Okay, not white, but mix it with um, ultramarine. And dry brush to create the waterfall. Okay, more ultramarine. In case you're wondering guys why I'm echoing, uh, I'm now um, residing at my new house and yeah it's so amazing because the view is so nice like it removes all the stress uh, that I just had before leaving Korea. It was stressful emotionally to leave my friends behind mm. but I'm getting okay. I'm getting better. I still love them though. That does not um, take away all my my love for them. You know, I still I'm still hurting to see them. Oh no no, to actually leave them, and just the idea that I I may not be able to see them ever again, at least for the longest time. But yeah why am i saying this but <laughs> okay let's continue okay so i'm highlighting the the portion the rocky portion where the waterfall is falling all right that's that looks nice okay and then i'm gonna get more white uh more black Again, just to create some unevenness. here okay and then depth in some black here to suggest some more depth here all right like that okay I'm gonna make some gray more gray okay and I'm gonna oops that's too white I'm gonna add black I'm gonna yeah like that apply some gray here here as well to create that natural effect Of the rocks okay like that okay 
Then I'm going to get my burnt sienna and black here. Again, just try to um, look at the rocks, right? Like they're uneven and when they're natural, right? Okay, I'm going to get my ultramarine blue just to make some hints of blue on the rocks. Okay, like that. The sun is shining. You can see the the light. All right, but I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and white, and then I'm gonna water it down. I'm gonna create some vines, like random, random vines. Here, here, and there. Like that, here as well, here, okay, hmm. and then I'm going to use that same mixture here, apply it even, oh no, no, not evenly, randomly, so that you get that effect that we want and that is natural effect we don't want any particular pattern when it comes to natural things unless the natural thing has a particular pattern that it naturally creates but for this uh, landscape we don't want any particular pattern to form Okay, I'm gonna get my grays and yeah, like that. It's too, it's weird. Okay, I'm gonna make it more gray. Okay, and then Okay, the sun is shining. Okay, I think I have to. Um, well, okay, it's all right, even if there's light. Too much light, right? <laughs> but it's okay, I think it's good, it's all right. Um, Okay, I'm gonna get my white now and make some, or white and yellow, white and yellow, and dab in here. Just randomly. tempted to bring down the the what do you call this the blinds but I really want to paint with the light natural light um with the natural light on so there you go okay like that okay like this okay
Okay, I'm gonna get more white and apply it here. It's like it has some bright spots in here. Like that. It's quite sunny. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. Okay. okay. I hope it um it stays like as cloudy as this because too much light is not good. Ah, oh, it's sunny again. Okay, like that. I'm just going to create that line. Okay, I'm going to get my black and green and ultramarine. And then try to, I'm going to fix this part. gonna get my light green and use my hands mm, I think this is too too um, too light and too bright as well so I'm just gonna fix that we don't want too bright waters like that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, we're gonna add some floating um, leaves here or fallen leaves from the rocks or from the trees. So. Just get your yellow or green, whatever. You can also use brown because some are dried leaves, you know? Okay. By the way, this painting, I had this um, sold uh, back in 2019. Uh, for charity purposes and yeah it was sold to a um, Colombian national and yeah I hope I wonder how what happened to my painting but yeah I'm so happy that it was sold now I'm just teaching you how I did it okay I'm just gonna get my greens and adapt in here some tiny greens just to suggest some plants or grass or um, yeah or molds on the rocks too much light too much light guys yeah but that's how it, that's how it looks like okay that's how it looks like so nice I'm gonna add okay. okay I'm gonna get more white I'm just gonna dab in here So really, really random, you know, really random. And then get more white. And then we're going to uh, glaze this part where the light is striking. Okay, I'm gonna 
get my yellow and white and we're going to create some uh, reflections so do some small horizontal lines like that still recording right <laughs> okay like that and then do some small horizontal lines or yeah random horizontal lines this side okay I'm gonna use this yellow to somehow highlight this portion okay like that yeah I like it also this part just mm, to suggest some translucence slight translucence of the water like that okay i'm gonna get my um aqua green some white make some white okay like this okay it looks nice <laughs> okay finally Okay, I'm gonna use the same um, aqua green and ultramarine and black. I'm just gonna continue it like a little further. Yeah, a little further, not too much, but yeah, like up to here. Then I'm going to get my greens again, like this. Just blend it perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but you know, as when you're happy. Okay, like this. It looks nice. Okay, let me, let me check it out. Let me show you. It looks really nice, right? So I'm gonna get my black. I'm just gonna glaze something. I'm gonna get my black. Okay, I'm gonna glaze this part, the sides of these rocks, because it's not bright. It's not bright, it's not supposed to be that bright. Yes, yes, that's what we want. Oh, too much light, guys. The sun. So I'm just going to use some browns just to make it more natural 
Just apply it here, there. And then make some vines again. And I have to highlight the vines as well because this is the bright portion of our painting, the left side. Okay, and then make this really look natural. Okay. And then I'm going to get some more white okay, just to highlight in some areas. Not everything though, just a tiny bit. Like that, and here as well, just tiny bit of white. Okay. Okay, I'm going to continue the water there, but. Um, Again, I'm going to brighten this side, bright, bright, like that, to suggest light. Okay, now uh, the, the sun is striking so good, but this is how the painting looks like. Okay. like that so I know that the light yeah but that, that's how it's gonna look like okay so I think I have to get um, okay, more white or more black, more black like here. Sorry guys, it's too bright, I know. Did not expect this as well. So I'm gonna add more black here to add more depth. And then I'm gonna glaze the, the rock just uh, at the right side because um, the light is coming from the left side so it should be a little darker from the right side like that i'm gonna get my black and just define the rock Then 
make some reflections here. Okay. So I think we're good. We're good. Okay. Mm hmm Like that, like that. Okay. I'm going to add some shadowing here. To the floating leaves. So just add black at the bottom. And then glaze it with black. Again, because... Again, the right side is quite dark than the left side. Okay. Again, I'm sorry for the very like super sunny day. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it's gonna look like. Okay. Just gonna add more. Okay. And of course, we're gonna sign it now. Yes. Right. We're gonna sign it. I'm gonna use my white. And I'm gonna sign it here. Okay, so there you go. Finally, we're done. We're done, guys. So, okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, no more sun. Okay, so yeah, what else should I add? Like, okay, just I'm dabbing. I'm dabbing more um foliage. So you can do this, um you can do this. Just to add more um, interest uh, to your painting, I'm just doing it because I want. I want to do it right, like that. Okay, can you use yellow? Can you use yellow too? All right. I'm gonna get my white. Oh, okay, my ultramarine. Right. Ah, oh, here comes the sun again. Okay. Okay, like that. And we're done. I think so, we're done. Right? Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get my like blue and white and try to make some 
my wheel reflections here. Like that, and then get some black, black, and then define it like that. Can you see guys what I did there? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Oh, this is so nice. So thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, I hope you do this one. And thank goodness that I was able to film this one. And yeah, show me your painting, guys. And tag me on my Facebook and comment on my YouTube video. And ask me questions if you want me to answer anything. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and of course yes guys wait oh, wait I need to like like that still okay <laughs> yeah thanks for watching guys and of course guys guys <laughs>